Welcome back to my channel! For today's video, I have my February favorites for you all. And this month was so uneventful, I swear to God, I have at least one more Friday to film and upload this video. So this is, I think this is going up in March. Yeah, this is going up in March. Like the first weekend of, the first, um, Far from the da -da -da, Friday of March, which is fine, no big deal. But like, I usually like to have them up by the end of the month. Anyways, chatty intro. This month was pretty uneventful. We had a week off from school, so we went to Florida. I'm so tan. You can't really tell on camera. <laughs> um, so that's one of my favorites. So let's just jump right in, I guess. Um, Florida is one of my favorites. We got to hang out with my cousins. We went on like a boat tour. I held a baby alligator, guys. Like, look at me branching out of my comfort zone. Um, we also, like, just spent the day, like, sunning, or tanning by the pool. I did a couple blog posts, so I will link my blog down below. It's always down there, but this month there are some very interesting posts up there. Um, also, I'm trying to think. So, Florida, I got to hang out with some of my friends while I was down there. It was all around a great trip, and I'm so excited. I love it down there, because my grandparents have a condo. And, um, so that was, like, one of my big favorites of the month. And then other than that, um, I just have a bunch of random favorites. Like, I don't even have a beauty product this month. Like, that's how, like, chill February is. So I guess it's time to change up my routine a little bit for the next month. So, um, let's just jump right in. I think I'm going to do fashion first today. So my first fashion favorite is this hat. And it is a Kate Spade hat. And it has little sunglasses on it. And I got this for Christmas for my parents. And, um, the glasses, my, it's like kind of like my signature trademark, I guess. Um, because I always have my glasses on, I don't wear contacts. So this was my hat for by the pool. And I would just sit on my lounge chair all sassy with my book and just like read. I don't know. I like it. And like when I was like wanting to get some sun on my chest, I'd go like this and be like, ah. So basically that's how I spent my days. With this hat. Um, so that was a really great hat. I loved it so much and it's so cute. I think my mom got it like on sale or something too, so it wasn't that like, expensive. Next up, I went to a PacSun in Florida because my grandparents live right next to a mall and PacSun was having a sale on Brandy Melville. Buy one, get one half off. And I had went the night before with my friend and because she was wearing this really cute Brandy Melville dress and I wanted it so I got I went and bought it and then I was like, oh, I didn't see anything I liked. Well, then the next day I went back and I found two things that I liked. So it ended up working out for the deal. It was not the first night, so I was kind of upset. This was kind of the thing that was looking for to get me the deal. Oh, look how white that makes me. This is just a black long sleeve cozy top from Brandy Melville and I don't really have like the, any like tops like this. I have a bunch of crop tops because the last time I went to a Brandy Melville was during the summer which is like two years ago so like they're constantly changing their inventory and I decided to get this because it looked really cozy and I've worn it like so many times and like I probably like could have fallen asleep in the shirt but I didn't because I wanted to wear it to school at least once before I did so kind of doing that trade off. And it just has like some buttons on the front and it's covered in cat hair because my cats love to sit on me when I wear all black. So, excuse me, I'm so sorry. I just burped and now I feel like a gross human being. So that was one of my favorites for the month. And then this was the real reason we went back because I wanted to eat these shorts. And I figured with Brandy Melville, like, even though I'm going to buy it in California, or Florida, I'm going to buy them anyways. So like, why not just buy them and not have to pay for shipping? So, I bought these little shorts, they're the maroon shorts, and I do not know the name of these right now. Oh my gosh, it doesn't bother me. But they're the classic shorts that everyone loves to get, and like, my friend has a pair, and it's like, oh yeah, I want some, I'm just not in a rush to get them. Oh my god, guys, get these if you have a chance. They're so freaking cozy. They have like, the elastic band, so literally like, you are not attached to anything, like no strings attached with these shorts. Like, and they're so flowy and cozy, and I would wear them with the shirt. And unfortunately, it's still really cold in Michigan, but I wore these all the time when I was in Florida, or like all the time when I had them, after I bought them, because I bought them like halfway through the trip. And they're just so cozy. I don't know what else to say. I, if I will find, I will find the name for this, and I will link them down below when I do my description box. So if you're looking for a pair of those, I think they come in different colors, but I just got the maroon because it was the only one they had. Okay, next little fashion favorite is the um, Longchamp backpack in black. And I, if you watched my What's in My Carry On video, um, you would, would know that I had this backpack ordered. I had ordered this backpack before I went to Florida, and I had it shipped to me in Florida so I could use this as my like crossbody, even though it's a backpack. And oh my gosh, this actually fits a lot of stuff. It fit my glasses case, my sunglasses case, and I can't have a skinny one. I have to have a big one because my glasses are huge. 
Um, I have to fit my wallet in there, which is the Kate Spade one that I showed in my video. My camera, which is a DSLR, which is, so you know they're big. And I always carry, like, gum with me and, like, um, like, makeup. And not, like, a ton of makeup, but, like, a couple lip products and my phone. And sometimes I have headphones in here. But this bag actually carries so much, and I'm so happy I bought it. It's, like, such a nice purchase. And, um, these straps are adjustable. They have an inside pocket. I was reading reviews online, people were like, oh, there's no inside pocket for your phone. I'm like... Yes, sir, people. It's like right in the front. You can even see it. Um, so this was a great purchase. And even though it looks super tiny, it it wasn't. And it's so great because it just like folds right back up into a little like like this. It folds right up back into this little like spidery looking thing. And it's perfect for travel because you just fold it up and shove it in your bag. Like this took up no space at all in my carry-on. Um, next up for... That's it for fashion. It wasn't even that great of fashion. Um, this is a candle that I've been burning like for three days and it smells really good so I decided that I'd include it. Mm, it's Marshmallow Fireside from Bath and Body Works and I've smelled this candle so many times and just walked away from it because I didn't think I would like it. But it smells so good. It gets a little too sweet and I thought like I was going to like barf after a while <laughs> burning this so I can only burn this for a little bit at a time. But the description on the bottom reads, A sweet, toasty end to a long, cold day. Toasted marshmallows and scrumptious vanilla cream blend with the comforting aroma of rich smoldering woods. This one smells like a boy and that smells really nice and comforting. Yay! Oh my god, it smells so good. Get this, if you're skeptical, buy the mini one. I bought I bought the mini one, but Karen got me a big one for Christmas, so I decided to buy the big one first. Yay! Next up I have some food. That's a new and unusual product for me, right? Not really. I love food so much. Um but recently, my mom has been bringing these bad things into my house. They're not really bad. They're, they're delicious. Um, but I will sit there and eat a whole entire bag of these. Um, these are the Brookside Dark Chocolate Crunchy Clusters Berry Medley Flavors. And if you like the pomegranate or the acai ones, or I have not tried the Golgi Raspberry ones, I'm going to get my hands on those. These are so good because they're like little clusters like that big or bigger. Sometimes they're like huge. But these are so good, guys. Oh, my God. I like... I bought myself up my own bag and I wouldn't let anyone share it for me and my mom buys like a bag for her, a bag for me and then like a backup bag. Like we are obsessed with these. We get these on Reddit and they're on sale and they're so good and now they come in the mini bags like that big. I need to buy like all of them, not even joking. <laughs> they're so good guys. I'm so obsessed with them and I took them out of my trash because I had eight and all of them before the video and so I just took the bag out of the trash so I remember to show you guys because I've been obsessed with these for like forever. They're so good. Oh my god. I love this brand. Next up is some gum. Woo! This is the Juicy Fruit Starburst Gum in Strawberry. And I was kind of skeptical about this at first. But then one of my friends had it in, like, our chem class. And it smelled so good. Like, sometimes you can, like, smell people's gum. And I can smell it, and it smells so good. She said the strawberry is better than the cherry. So I got the strawberry when I was at the airport. And it honestly smells like a strawberry Starburst. And it tastes like a strawberry Starburst. The only thing... Classic Juicy Fruit runs out of flavor in like less than five minutes, but whatever. It says, highly recommend this. You can't get it at Rite Aid, maybe CVS, I don't know. You can get it at 7-Eleven or any airport. Just kidding, I don't know about this. That last fact is true, so don't count me in on that. Also, recently for my trip, I was bought a book to read, and I bought Gone Girl. And oh, I cannot put it down, guys. Literally, I stay up like way too late at night reading it, and I'm still not finished yet. Um, since I'm reading it on my Kindle, it says about how much through you are, how far through you are in percent. So I'm about 75% through it. So I have like just a little bit left. And oh my god, guys, it is so, so, so good. I want to watch the movie as soon as I'm done with the book. I heard the movie isn't as good. Typical. Books are always better than movies. But um, I'm really excited to see this movie. Because um, when, when I was watching the Oscars, Rosamund Pike was there. I think that's her name. And she looked stunning so she'll probably be so good in the book as or in the movie as amy so i highly recommend this book if you're looking for something it's a thriller kind of mystery creepy i don't know i'm into those books so i highly recommend that if you are too hold on let me just adjust my list here let's talk about music yeah i was gonna say something else but i didn't music this month Love Me Like You Do, Ellie Goulding from the Fifty Grades Shades of Grey, Fifty Grades of fi blah, 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 Fifty Shades of Grey soundtrack. So good, guys! Like eargasm, so good. I listen to this song all the 
time. And Carolyn played it yesterday, and we had a jam session leave in school, not even lying. And then Sugar by Maroon 5. I know that came out like last month, but I freaking didn't buy it till this month. And that song's so good. I like jam to that. And the kids in the, who I babysit for, they sit in my backseat and they sing it with me. So I guess it's a pretty cool song. I just bought the um, One Direction album. Great. Going to the concert in August. Uh, holler at your girl. Um, four or five seconds. Rihanna, Paul McCartney, and Kanye West. Great song. Although it's only been out for a month and they already have a remix and I'm not really digging it. Um, I Don't Mind by Usher and GCJ. That's a good song. Jam Session with my cousins. And I downloaded two Shawn Mendes' songs, Life of the Party and... What's the other one? Something Big. That's good. I like those both. I really like Life of the Party. And... Can We Dance by The Vamps? It's actually a really good song. I heard it on my Pandora one day. I was like, oh, I'm going to have to buy this. So, nope. Last thing. This is kind of a fashion thing, but I wanted to save it because it's like my new little girl. And at the, where my grandparents live, there's a mall about 15 minutes away. Not the walking one, like a different one. And it's the outlet mall called the Miramar Outlets in Florida. And oh, there, Kate Spade was having a huge sale, I guess. So my bag, I'm going to tell you about the deal before I show you, it was originally $395, I know, like, so much, but then it was 50% off, and then it was another 20% off of that, and then, being a student, I got another 15% off, so I got, like, an 85% discount, guys, like, so this bag was so worth it, like, in the end, it only ended up being $142, which I think is a great price compared to what I was originally, like, wanting it for. So this is the Kate Spade bag, and I do not know the name of it, but I will find it. And I will let you know, I think I think this purse is a great neutral color. I have a black bag and I have a couple other bags, but like nothing this neutral because I have the long shop, but that's like purpley. And I just, I just love this bag so much. And on the inside, it is bright. Hold on, let me show you. It is bright pink. And this bag is huge. It has one huge section and then a baby section and then a zipper pop section. And I like purses that I can just like throw everything into. And this would be, it's like great, I can like use this as a carry-on bag because um, it fits my laptop in it, or our laptop in it. And I love the color, it's like a taupey color, it has the gold feet on the bottom and then they are gold hardware all on the top and the bag just kind of, the straps hold down. The best part was we had to shove this in the dust bag, I filled it up, shoved it in the dust bag, put it in my dad's backpack and he had to walk through the airport with this in his backpack. And I was like, do not hurt my child. And if you guys want me to do a what's my purse with this bag, like an updated one, it's pretty much the same exact thing. But I can shove some random stuff in here if you want me to. And also I might think, I think I might do my Day of May series again, so this might be a part of it. Um, so yeah, that's it. I just really want to show you guys this bag. I've only been able to use it like twice. Um, that's it for my favorites. I know I said I didn't have a lot, but it ended up being really chatty. But I was kind of in the mood to just sit down and chat because Pretty Little Liars, I missed it at 8. So I don't have to wait till 10. So I'm probably going to shower after this video too. Oh, TMI. I've also had a really lot, of, really lot of energy. A lot of energy during this video. So that is it. I love you all so much. Don't forget to give it... Da, 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 da. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post new videos every single Friday. Um, I love you all so much. And don't forget to leave me your favorites in the comments below for February. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next week with a brand new video. I hope you enjoy this moment with Maddie. Bye, guys!